it still surprises me how foreign cut, copy, and paste is to so many computer users, even computer users who consider themselves average to moderate computer users and not necessarily beginners. So here I have two documents open in Notepad. I have a document with some text here, and I've got a blank document here, side by side, so you can see how this works. Number one thing is we have to learn to select what we want to copy or cut. And here I'm going to use my mouse. I'm going to hold the mouse button down, left mouse button down. I'm going to drag across the amount of text that I want to copy. And once I'm through selecting that text, I then go to Edit and click Copy. Now if I want to use my keyboard, I can use this shortcut right here, Control-C, to do the copy also. Or I can right-click and copy. Three different ways to do it. Now we're going to move to the empty document over here. We've already copied the information. And now we're going to click Edit and Paste. And miraculously, the information that I copied here is pasted over here. Very, very simple to do. A couple quick things you need to know. When you're highlighting text, if you want to highlight this entire paragraph, you have to start at either the beginning or the end and then drag the other way. I can't start in the middle and go and cop and highlight down and then go back up. Never works. Highlighting always has to have a beginning and an end. You can't start in the middle. So start in the very beginning and then highlight to the end or start at the end, highlight to the beginning. And one common rookie mistake with selecting text is they feel like they have to go across and then down one line at a time. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is click where you want to start and drag diagonally down to the other side and you've got your selected text. If I highlight this text and choose copy but I don't do anything with it, I don't paste it and I go and I highlight something else and then copy it, when I go over to my other spot that I want to paste the information, the only thing that comes up is the last thing that I copied. So that is extremely important to realize when you're copying and pasting, particularly if you're cutting and pasting, because when you use the cut or copy command, that information is in memory as long as your computer is on or until you cut or copy something else. Once you cut or copy something else, it replaces the previous information that you copied. So very, very, very important to remember. Now, this technique can be used in many, many situations. Let's show you how it can be used in an email. Here we are in an email. I received an email on the left, and I want to copy part of that information into a new message. Number one thing to do is bring up the message that you want to copy from in one screen, and then pull up your blank message on another screen, and then find the information that you'd like to copy. So I'm going to highlight the information here. I'm going to right-click this time and choose Copy. I'm going to come to my other message on this side. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to paste. So the information I copied from here gets copied, saved in that temporary memory, paste it wherever I want to paste it on in another document. So that's how you can copy from email to email. Works great to help get rid of some of the stuff if you're one of those serial forwarders. Use copy and paste, don't use forward. So we're going to copy an address from email, a website address. Let's say it wasn't a clickable address. So we're going to first highlight the information, and then I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to choose copy. Now I'm going to switch to my browser window, and at this point, the easiest way to do this is to right click in the address bar. That's the long white bar at the top of your browser. And when you right click on it, it not only brings up the cut, copy, paste menu, but it highlights the current address in there. So when I paste, it's going to replace the address that's there with the address that I copied. So I'm going to click paste. You can see that the address that I copied is in there. All I need to do is press enter on my keyboard. So there is copy and paste. It is not very difficult. It is easy to do. Practice it. You will use it constantly and your computer enjoyment will skyrocket. Have fun.